Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mike Gordon. I am the uh, Sustainability and Risk Manager at Kings Mill Resort, and I'm very excited to be here with you all today and discuss a little bit about what goes on at Kings Mill. Um, unlike most hospitality uh, outlets that you may find, um, we have a very active environmental program. So uh, just quickly, I'm going to talk about ecologics. I'll explain what that is uh, in just a minute, about our recycling and our diversion rate. And now we'll talk about composting and what we're going to be doing on site. And as is our practice at all Zantara pro uh, properties, is, is we want to send it home, not only with our employees, but with our guests, so that we can improve communities, both locally where we are and wherever our guests are coming from. So what is Ecologics? Ecologics is our environmental management system, and it is a uh, ISO 14001 certified. In fact, um, I had a hard time getting ready for this because I just finished our internal audit. Ecologics is actually from a corporate level. It's being uh, our, our Zantera, our parent, operates uh, lodges in the uh, national parks throughout the country. And um, every park has an environmental management system based on the Ecologics program, which is an integration of ecology and business. Um, and it represents Zantera's and Kings Mills environmental commitment. So there's a quote from, I won't read that to you, from Andy Todd, but, you know, Ecologics is basically a, a logical integration of ecology and business. We don't believe you can do business without being ec ecologically sound. So what kind of things do we recycle? King's Mill. Uh, probably the typical that you'll see. The, the, the metal waste, we get construction debris. We've got a lot of uh, renovation going on. The resort um, is, is getting on in years, and there's a lot of renovation required. But the good news is, um, we are pulling out uh, literally this year so far, and we're not done yet. Um, we have pulled out probably close to 50 to 60 tons of recyclable metal from our, from our renovation projects. And then also excess equipment. We switched out some uh, phone switches. We've uh, replaced a lot of computers. We're getting, we've managed to pull the metal waste as much as we can out of that before we send it for e-waste e, uh, recycling. Um, the other thing, household waste. You've got to imagine with 420 guest suites, um, especially in the summertime, we get a lot of household type waste. Um, the great news is that I heard somebody else mention uh, TFC a little earlier today. Uh, they are our vendor. They work very well with us, and we have what we call single stream recycling in all of our rooms. We do not require our guests to separate their trash. It all goes into one can. TFC picks it up. They take it back to their facility. It's dumped on the floor, and they segregate out the recyclables from that, which can't be recycled. The good news is most of the non-recyclables can be compressed and end up in the trash esteem plant down in Portsmouth. So we have a very, very low rate of, uh, of sending materials to landfill. But with that single stream, you've got to imagine, people on vacation, the last thing they want to think about is separating their trash. They figure, you know, when I'm home, I can do that, but I'm on vacation, I don't want to do it. So we, we offer them that to make it as simple as possible so we recycle as much as possible from the rooms. The other thing we do on site, our boreal race, waste. We have three golf courses, and you, and you can imagine the number of trees on a golf course. Every time there's a windstorm, like this past weekend, how many branches, limbs, trees that come down. Well, none of that gets, gets thrown out. Um, we have a storage yard on site. We'll take it over there, and when we get enough of the limbs and trees, uh, we bring in a shredder, we shred that up, and then we return that waste as mulch to the golf courses. And our golf courses for the fourth year in a row have been certified as an Audubon sanctuary. Um, so not only are we improving the environment, we're also uh, providing a great home for some very lovely birds. If you ever want to do any birding, if anybody's interested in that, come on out to the resort. You'd be amazed at the number of different birds you can find out there. And last but not least, food waste. We started a, a pilot program last year of collecting uh, our food waste from one of our restaurants just to see how it would go. Um, we were using a company based out of Richmond, and it was reasonably a success, but the cost was a little bit prohibitive, so we were looking for other alternatives. So 
just to give you a quick background on composting, to, you know, what we do compost, pre-consumer waste. Um, I was amazed the first time I walked through our kitchens how much food waste was generated in the processing of the food to get it ready to serve to somebody. You're talking fruit rinds, you know, uh, vegetable skins, um, trimmings from meat, a great number of things that were going on. The amount was, was just phenomenal. Um, the other is the post-consumer waste, which, you know, when we finish at these restaurants and we clean off the tables, we have leftover food, we want to make sure we get rid of it. So, you know, we're, we're taking all that food waste right now and we're segregating it from our other waste streams. Now, right now, the, the food is not, food waste is not going to composting, but it is going to burn at the uh, trash and steam plant in Portsmouth. Um, but by segregating the waste right now, it increases the amount that we can recycle. Because you know, if you, if you contaminate your recyclables with food waste, it becomes very difficult to get it recycled. So by, we, we have developed that culture, and it's just second nature for all the folks in our kitchens. This is the food waste container. This has other waste. So they've done a really good job of separating out that waste, and, is, and we're very successful. So the other thing, you know, that we, we are doing, we did do some, when we did do some composting, we are able to use it to augment some of the soils around the golf courses and the flower beds around the resort, okay? But what we're really excited about, and um, I got the approval actually this morning to order the system. Um, it's called the BioBin system. It's, it's going to be a 20-yard roll-off box. It's specially designed to handle food waste. And as you can see by the diagram, um, there are going to be some pipes running through it. The, the key to composting, and we'll talk about that in a minute too, is you got to make sure you got enough oxygen. You got to make sure your moisture content's right. And with this system, it's going to try to keep that in balance. It runs it through a, a filter, which will scrub out any of the odors. That's the other problem we have with our food waste collection right now. In the summertime, it doesn't smell real good. So this system will come in. We're looking forward to getting it in um, to, to manage our waste. So what we'll end up doing is we're actually collecting at, at up to 10 tons at a time. We'll actually begin the compost pro process on site so that, you know, we're basically cooking it while it's there. Then it'll be going off to a facility over in um, Wakefield. Waverly, there you go. I knew it was one of those W's. Um, and they will, uh, they will be taking that waste and they'll finish off the composting and then they sell the, uh, sell the products. So this is what I'm looking forward to. We hope to have that in by the end of December and get up and operating. Okay. And our goal is to uh, be at 100% of f composting by the end of 2015. And when you can imagine we have three restaurants and two snack bars on site. Um, the restaurants are going to be easy to manage because they already have that culture of separating that food waste. They know where it has to go. The snack bars haven't developed that yet, so that's going to be uh, my project for next year, working on the snack bars. Um, one thing we always do at Zantera, we want our employees and our guests to take something home with them. We want to send them home with some sustainable ideas and some processes. So this is my pitch to send you all home. If you're not composting at home, it's a great activity. Um, you're generating food waste. It'll keep it out of the waste stream. James City County doesn't want to see that in there anyway. There's three ways to do it. You can even a simple pile, just start a pile in the backyard and keep adding to it. Uh, you can actually build bins like you see in that first picture there. It doesn't have to be quite that elaborate, but just something to keep it together. Or you can get tumblers. Um, they're commercially available. The thing about the tumbler is it processes the waste much faster. You get results a lot quicker with it. So just leave you with the keys to effective composting. Get the optimal balance of compost material. They talk about brown material and green material. We can go into detail about what that means, but the best way to think about it is green is wet, brown is dry. Try to get that balance just right so that you get the right mix. It'll help that compost much better. Turn the compost. That's the beauty of that tumbler. The reason it works so well is because you're constantly turning it. You're constantly aerating it. You're getting the, the air and the moisture right in it. And that's the second thing, moisture content. If it's real wet, it doesn't like to compost real well. If it's real dry, it won't compact, compost at all. So you got to get a, just enough moisture in there, just enough oxygen, and you're really going to make a good compost. 
to be using in your gardens, in your flower beds, and really improve the looks of your yard. And the secret ingredient, if you don't do this, that you don't have to do this, but it really makes it go well, is alfalfa meal. You can buy it at most of the garden stores. It comes in a little bag. Just throw a little in there. It's protein. It really helps those organic bugs get to cooking, and it, it really it gives them something to eat, and, they, uh, and it really helps you uh, generate that compost. But we're excited about our composting program. We're looking forward to uh, the results we're going to see by the end of 2015. And if you have any questions, just see me. That's all I got.